joy to the Lord, all ye earth. We have to learn how to shout to the Lord. Amen. Shout to the Lord. Amen. All ye earth. He's talking about us, the people on earth. He wants to shout to him. We want to praise him, worship him in spirit and in truth. God said, worship me. I said, I want my worshipers to worship me in spirit and in truth. And when they work in spirit and in truth, God said, I'll meet every need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Amen. Let's go down a little farther to the second verse. Worship the Lord with gladness. We need to learn how to worship God with gladness. Amen. The Lord, our Lord. We need to learn how to worship him and let him know that we love him. Let him know he's king of kings and that he's Lord of lords. We got to worship our God. We got to worship our Lord. We, we must worship him in spirit and in truth. I'm going back to that again. Amen. Come before him with joyful songs. We need to learn how to sing songs in the church like we used to. Oh, hallelujah. We didn't have no musicians and all that stuff. We just got down and started singing how to hymns and songs and, and just praise him and worship him. Amen. We just had great music. And music is great today too. Thank God for musicians and stuff. But thank God that we got a voice that we can sing unto the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Know that the Lord is good. I want to let you know that the Lord is good. He's been good to me. And he wants to be good to you if you don't know him. I'm telling you, our God is good. He's good all the time. And all the time, our God is good. I'm telling you, he's so good to me that I will not trade him in for anything on this earth. And I challenge you today not to. That You need to let God know that he's good. That he's worthy to be praised. And that he's worthy of his honor. That he's worthy of his glory. That he's worthy of his righteousness. I come to tell you today that our God is worthy to be praised. Amen. Let's go down a little farther in the Psalms. It says here, it is he who made us and we are his. God made us. Man didn't make us. God made us in his likeness and his image. God made us. I come to tell you that I heard it. To proclaim today that God made us. He made the heaven, the earth, the sea, and everything. And God made man in his image and his likeness. From Adam and Eve, God made man. Hallelujah. And he made woman, amen, from man. I come to tell you today, we are made in his image and his likeness. And we need to learn how to get the mind of God. Amen. We need to think like God thinks. We need to learn how to love like God loves. We need to learn how to act like God acts. We need to learn how to love our brothers and sisters. Love everyone with the love of Jesus. Can I get a witness? Amen. I'm telling you, when you learn how to love, God can work miracles in your life. I come to tell you today, you got to learn how to love the God that we serve. I'm talking about our Heavenly Father. We got to learn how to love him. It is he who made us. God made us. We didn't make ourselves. Amen. And we are his. We are his. When you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you belong to our Heavenly Father. Welcome to the kingdom. And if you haven't accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I challenge you today to accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior of your life. And I promise you'll never be the same. Hallelujah. God is so good. We are his people. The sheep of his pasture. He talked about us. The one who accepted Jesus Christ as the Lord and said, we are his sheep. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, he's, he's, he's over the pasture. God is over the pasture. He's our shepherd. Amen. He's over. He got under shepherds. Amen. He have us lined up. He used us in the way he want to use us in his church. I come to tell you, you are his sheep. And he's the shepherd. He's the head shepherd. And we need to learn how to recognize him as Lord and King and almighty God. We need to learn how to say, Heavenly Father, we just love you because you first loved us. Can I get a witness? If you learn how to love God, God will open up the windows of heaven and pour out blessings that you wouldn't even have room to receive. I come to tell you today that God is real. He's not dead. He's still alive. And he's still in charge. He's still set on the throne. Can I get a witness? Amen. I say, our God is not dead. He's still alive. Amen. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. We got to learn how to enter his gates with thanksgiving. When you get on your knees and pray to God, you better learn how to enter his gates with thanksgiving. Say, Lord, I thank you for food. Thank you for clothes. Thank you for a roof over my head. We need to learn how to thank God. Hallelujah for everything he blessed us with. When you learn how to thank God, he'll bless you with more. Hallelujah. He'll bless you with so much you bless others. Oh, God wants us to bless others. That's why he said, when you learn how to thank me for everything, just give me thanks. God said, I'll bless you. 
I bless your household. I bless your family. I bless your generation. God said these curses in your life will be broken once you learn how to thank him and worship him in spirit and in truth. Amen. Let's go down a little farther. It says in his courts with praise. Amen. We got to enter God's court with praise. You have to come boldly to the throne of grace to obtain mercy and find grace in the time of need. We need to learn how to ask God. Hallelujah, we need to go boldly there. Let God know what's on our heart, what's on our mind. And he can use us, and he'll use us the way he want to use us, not the way we want to use ourselves. Amen. It's not all about us, but it's all about Jesus. It's all about our Heavenly Father. Amen. It's not all about us. Amen. Give thanks to him and praise his name. When we learn how to give thanks to God, hallelujah, give thanks for Jesus. When we learn how to give thanks for the Holy Spirit, then God can step in and, and bless you spiritually, physically, and financially. He said, as the praises go up, the blessings come down. God said, you're not praising me enough. You're not worshiping me enough. God said, I need some praise for my people. I need some worship for my people. I'm tired of mumbling and complaining. God told me to tell you today, stop mumbling and complaining. And God said, I need you to learn how to praise me through the good times. Praise me through the bad times. And God said, I'll work everything out. Oh, I work everything out for your good. God said, when you learn how to praise me and stop mumbling, complaining about every little thing that come your way. Hallelujah. I come to tell you today, our Father loves you with a with an everlasting love. He loves you so much that he wants you to live with him forever and ever eternity. Can I get a witness? Amen. I'm telling you, God loves you, and I love you too. Amen. It says right here for in, in the fifth verse, for the Lord is good. And his love endures forever. I come to tell you that the Lord is good. Taste and see. The Lord is good. If you haven't accepted Jesus Christ, Lord, taste and see that the Lord is good. If you haven't uh, made him king of kings and lord of your life, taste and see that the Lord is good. Hallelujah. I say his love endures forever. Forever. Through generation through generation. You know, the absent from the body be present with the Lord. That's what the Bible says. And I'm telling you, when you have Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, get ready. God is going to bless you. He's going to move in a miraculous way in your life. God says, some of you haven't been worshiping me uh, uh, much. Some of you haven't been uh, 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 praying to me much. God says, some of you haven't been uh, giving me the thanks that I deserve. God says, some of you, I need you to come back home. I need you to come back home and do your first works over. God said, don't be ashamed. God said, you be ashamed of me, I'll be ashamed of you. Jesus said that. Now, our Heavenly Father wants us to never be ashamed of him because he's our Heavenly Father. Jesus never wants us to be ashamed of him because he's our Lord and Savior. The Holy Spirit uh, don't want us to be ashamed of him because he's the one that strengthens us. He's the one that guides us. He's the one that teaches us what we need to know in this life and how to survive in this life. Amen. I tell you that I will let you know that God loves you with an everlasting love. From general, he says right here in his word, it says here, for the Lord is good and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. God is so faithful. God is faithful when we, we are not faithful. I come to tell you, God is faithful when we are not faithful. God said, the only thing you have to do is repent and come back to him. Ah, God said, repent and come back to me. A change of heart, change of mind. God said, I can move in a miraculous way in your life. God said, if there's anything too hard for me, I just need you to let me know that you love me and that you're thankful for everything I'm doing in your life. I'm waking you up in the morning. I'm starting on your way. I'm blessing you. And I need you to thank me. Thank me for everything I have blessed you with. Even the small little things, God said, I want you to thank me. I give you breath in your body. I need you to thank me for air that you breathe. God said, I need you to learn how to be thankful. God said, my people are not thankful enough. God said, I need you to be thankful. I need you to stop mumbling, complaining. And, so, and God said, I just want you to lift up your hands and say, Lord, I surrender all. I'm yours, Lord. Everything I got, everything that I have is yours, Lord. God said, when you do that, when you learn how to praise me, when you learn how to say, holy, holy, Lord God Almighty, who was and is to come, he